Chiefs or die. Stripped to your pride like you were never nothing special Made to feel like another spoken will Final score from Raymond James Stadium down in Tampa Bay The Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31 Harrison Butker 9 in a game where Todd Bowles, the defensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, said, oh, your left tackle's out? Oh, now you're moving your left guard to right tackle? Hmm, I got two weeks to come up with the plan to kick Andy Reid's ass doing that. And guess what? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers kicked the Kansas City Chiefs ass. Tom Brady, seventh Super Bowl, putting the stamp down as the best quarterback in NFL history. Facts. Drink it, taste it, digest it, piss it out. Because it's fact. It sucks. It sucks to Chiefs fans. Because Tom Brady has beaten the Kansas City Chiefs twice in playoffs. Twice! Overtime game at Arrowhead. I was there freezing my ass off. Bob Sutton's defense sucked. Couldn't get Brady off the field after Patrick put up 31 second half points. This time... Well, shit, the Chiefs came out playing great defense. Okay, let's get right to it. Chiefs got a three and out. Forced a punt. Then the Chiefs went three and out. The Buccaneers got one first down. Frank Clark got a sack. But then it came apparent that the Chiefs were in trouble because Patrick Mahomes started running for his life. The Chiefs were able to run out of the pocket and get down the field. The Tyreek Hill on third and 11 from the 30 couldn't haul in the touchdown pass, bounced off his face. So the Chiefs had to kick a field goal. Chiefs kicked a field goal and they went up three to nothing. But then the Buccaneers started putting uh, some drives together, went down and scored on a tight end screen, an eight yard pass to Gronkowski. And the Chiefs didn't respond. With three minutes left in the first half, Patrick Mahomes was 2-9 and nine for, I think, what, 18 yards. Buccaneers dominated in the second half. Ended up winning the game 31-9. to nine. This is the first time in Patrick Mahomes' NFL career in three seasons as a starter. His first season, he took the Chiefs' AFC Championship game, overtime loss. Second season, he takes us to Super Bowl victory. The third season, he takes us to the Super Bowl, and we get blown out. This is the first time in Patrick Mahomes' entire career as a starter. He's lost by more than one score. And if I look for a blame at this game, at this, if you, you know, everybody has to blame. There has to be a finger pointed. There has to be this. There has to be that. I'll just say this, the Buccaneers, like I said to start, took advantage of the Chiefs' 
weak left tackle and right tackle. And uh, just had a field day. And you know, Patrick Mahomes is going to definitely have to eat this one. Because he's going to have to know, he knows that he was running for his life. He knows, he can't, he's not going to get up on the podium here. The Chiefs are going to have their press conference after the game. He's not going to get on the podium and say, well, my offensive tackle sucked. I mean, that's just apparent. But in how I feel, I feel that like Andy Reid should, Andy Reid should have changed the, should have uh, tried to run more in the second quarter. Andy Reid did, Andy Reid left his offensive tackles on an island. There was that one play where Patrick Mahomes hit uh, Clyde Edwards, Ed, Edwards and Hilaire out of the backfield for 11 yards, and Sammy Watkins were and uh, Travis Kelsey were left in to block. But for the most part, I think Andy Reid, he just didn't make the necessary adjustments when he knew his off both of his offensive tackles were in trouble. He kept with the same game plan, and uh, Patrick got destroyed because of it. So I somewhat blame Andy Reid, but it doesn't. I'm not. It doesn't take anything away from Andy Reid as a coach. He's still a great coach, but I think Andy Reid didn't make the necessary adjustments. I don't. He could have put in Yosir Durant in the second half at left tackle or Martinez Rankins, but he didn't. He said, Mike Rimmers and Angie Wiley, you getting your ass kicked. You guys looking so good at getting destroyed. I'm just going to leave you out there so you can live with it. Um, sucked. We lost the Super Bowl 31-9, but it's not the end of the world. Chiefs, keep fans, Chiefs Kingdom, keep your chins up. It sucks because it's Brady, I know. It sucks because it's Brady. It sucks because it's Tom Brady. But we have to accept it. Tom Brady didn't have an off season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady didn't have a mini camp. Uh, he just had to come in, didn't have a preseason to adjust and came in and proved, Hey, I'm the best quarterback in the national football league history. Seven Super Bowl uh, championships. He's just announced that Tom Brady's MVP. The elephant in the room with the chiefs kingdom currently is you all know it as well as, I do. Chiefs linebacker coach, Andy Reid's son, Thursday night, left Arrowhead and uh, wrecked his car and hurt two small children. One of them's in, still in critical condition. I'm getting some private messages saying that was bad juju going into the game. You could spin it all you want. That's not the reason why the Chiefs lost this game. But it is a problem because it if it's looking like it is, I'm not going to say it is, but right now it's looking like Britt Reed did have a, it's his second DWI. So that was bad juju going in. It does, it, it is. I don't know what Andy Reed's going to say positively, positively about it when he is finally asked about it at his season ending press conference, which will be this week sometime. Andy Reed's a great coach. Andy Reed is a, a great man. Andy Reed, should not take any criticism of this. Kevin Keatsman from former 810 host was back on Twitter when this news broke Friday, just slamming Andy Reid. Tweet after tweet after tweet, just slamming Andy Reid. Screw Kevin Keatsman. Andy Reid cannot help it that his kids have uh, some problems. But it's going to be it's going to be something put on the back burner that's going to be uh, in the forefront of how what the Chiefs are going to do this offseason. Andy Reid's going to be the coach. I'm not insinuating that at all. Andy Reid's going to be the coach. He's going to coach here as long as he wants to coach here. But Chiefs Kingdom needs to rally and send prayers. I know the family of the little girl has put out a GoFundMe page and received quite a bit of money. Frankly, uh, I think the Chiefs will take care of this little girl ASAP. They better start sending some bucks over there to the hospital to help that little girl who's in critical condition. It shouldn't be a Chiefs Kingdom shouldn't have to help out this little girl, Andy Reid, and should be doing everything he can to help this little girl or Britt Reid. Um, but props to Chiefs Kingdom for helping out the little girl, uh, sending a GoFundMe, uh, responding to the GoFundMe page. But it sucks, man. It sucks to lose a Super Bowl 31 to 9. 
It's going to be a whole bunch of different things are going to be happening. I will do a season ending show in two weeks where we'll be able to regroup, rethink, observate, have careful observation of where we are and where the Chiefs stand. I will do that in two weeks. But we have to also be proud of this team. Be proud of Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill. This was a tough year. We had to deal with COVID-19. I caught it on Christmas Eve, as you know that as well. When I let you guys know that two weeks ago. We're going to have to regroup and see where this team's going to be standing. Like I said, I will address that in two weeks. But right now, my disappointment with the team is with the... Uh, we didn't make the adjustments. Let's, let's look at these sucky Super Bowl stats for your Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes was 26 of 49 for 270 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions. Clyde Edwards Lair started getting the running game going. I uh, wish we would have stuck with that. We still probably should have done that with jump rather than crucifying our freaking offensive tackles. Come on, Reed. Why'd you do that shit? Patrick Mahomes was our second leading rusher with five carries for 33 yards. Daryl Williams was two carries for five. Tyreek Hill was one for five. Travis Kelsey was our leading receiver with 10 for 133. Tyreek Hill was second with seven for 73. Clyde edwards lair with two receptions for 23. Sammy Watkins, more than likely in his final game as a Kansas City Chief, was one for 13. DeMarcus was one for 11. And Byron Pringle was one for three returning home to Tampa. Frank Clark had the only sack in the first quarter. He thought it was a sign of good things to come. But we have to recognize that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are just far more physical and took advantage of the Chiefs' tackle situation. The Chiefs on defense had some pass interference penalties. Questionable at best. But when you only put up nine points, it's hard to be thinking that those pass interferences came back to haunt us. But it is what it is, folks. We will re we will respond. We will get over this. It's not ideal, but we will regroup. I hope you all come back with me in two weeks as we do a 2020 season-ending show and take a little sneak peek at next year. Hopefully Andy Reid will recognize where he screwed up the Super Bowl by leaving his tackles on an island. But... Hats off to Bruce Arians, Tom Brady, The Rock, Kevin Ross, the defensive back coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, former Kansas City Chiefs great. He's got himself a Super Bowl ring. Dominic Nunez Roches has got a Super Bowl ring, former Chief. Shady's got another Super Bowl ring. Two years in a row, LaShawn McCoy did nothing and got two Super Bowl rings. Way to go, Shady. Who are you going to be with next year as you just... Ride and get a Super Bowl ring. But hey, you got two Super Bowl rings. I will be back in two weeks again, and we'll take a gander back at 220, the 2020, and look forward to the future. Shake it off, Patrick. It was your first big loss. You know what you got to do. Regroup. Regroup. Arrowhead, four miles from my crib, and you know it's a short drive. To the countryside, where you go when you can't run and hide. So many questions. Questions like, Coach Reed, you got some problems. Prayers to the little girl. Britt Reed, prayers, prayers. Regroup. I will see you in two weeks. All right, this is Shaggy Shane saying... Thank you once again for another season of following me. I'll see you in two weeks. We'll, we'll discuss the future. Until then, this is Shaggy Shane saying, Go Chiefs. This is Delta Shade. It's been my theme song for the last five years. Check them out. Check them out. <laughs>